Michigan Out of Doors Online is brought to you in part by Mr. Musky Charters, offering full-service guided fishing trips for walleye, muskie, bass, and sturgeon on Lake St. Clair and the Detroit and St. Clair Rivers. Booking information is online at mrmuskycharters.com. By Grilla Grills of Holland, Michigan, makers of wood pellet, charcoal grills, and professional pellet smokers. Grilla Grills are designed for ease of use to improve your grilling or smoking skills. More information at grillagrills.com. Hey everyone, welcome to Michigan Out of Doors TV. I'm Jenny olson Silic, and we've got a great show lined up for you this week. It's all about fishing on this week's show. I'll spend a day on the Detroit River with a great group of kids who have parents who are deployed in the military. You won't want to miss that story. We had a blast out there. And Jimmy and Jordan have some other exciting fishing in store for us this week too. Well, that's right, Jenny. We do have another story on this week's show. We're actually going to kick things off by doing a little brown trout fishing. Jordan Brown is going to take us out on the river. You won't want to miss that. Now, this is a short show this week because our PBS stations are in pledge, so pledge early and pledge often, but it is all brand new, so make sure you stay tuned. I'm Jimmy Gretzinger. It's time for Michigan Out of Doors. From the first spring rains to the soft summer breeze Dancing on the pine forest floor the autumn colors catch your eyes, here come the crystal winter skies. It's Michigan, Michigan out of doors. What a beautiful day in the woods. Someday our children all will see this is their finest legacy. The wonder and the love of Michigan as the wind comes whispering through the trees. The sweet smell of nature's in the air. Great Lakes to the quiet stream, shining like a sportsman's dream. It's a love of Michigan we all share. Michigan Out of Doors is presented by By Country Smokehouse, a sportsman's meat processor and Michigan destination since 1988. Offers a variety of homemade smoked meats and Michigan-made products in-store and online. The Country Smokehouse features an outdoor barbecue and bar. Details at countrysmokehouse.com. By AnglerQuest Pontoons, a mid-Michigan company building boats for fishermen by fishermen. AnglerQuest Pontoons are designed for comfort and functionality. On the web at anglerquestpontoons.com. Nice nice by Huron Lady River Cruises in Port Huron, offering daily sightseeing trips and private cruises for all ages. Sightseers will experience the International Blue Water Bridge, Great Lakes Freighters, the Fort Gratiot Lighthouse, and more. Huron Lady River Cruises on the web at huronlady.com. Soaking in the rich tradition of Michigan hunting for over 30 years. Vanguard is proud to sponsor our friends at Michigan Out of Doors TV. If you're an angler here in Michigan, spring is a great time to be on the water. For many folks, that means chasing trout. And that's exactly what the plan was today as I hit a small mid-Michigan river with a couple of anglers who love trout fishing. Today we're going to hit about a four-hour stretch here. We're mid-Michigan um, looking for larger brown trout and then we'll get up into a section that produces historically some uh, rainbow trout mixed in with some uh, mid-teen browns and so uh, looking for some brutes this morning and then we'll progress into something that's hopefully just a little bit more productive when it comes to numbers. So. Our plan today was to cover lots of water, hoping to find a few areas that hadn't been fished quite as hard. This area receives a fair amount of pressure, and sometimes you have to put the miles on to find the fish. Here we go. Fish. Big fish, huh? There you go. And he's off. Nice. Nice healthy. Pen. Tails. She's Tail. beat. Yeah, somebody's been chewing on her. A lot of the fish in here are like this, especially the females. You get really, really light colored females with deep blue cheeks, and then your males just kind of hold that uh, really, really rusty yellow belly all summer long. And so. It's a neat contrast between the two.
All right. Well, we're yeah. off the Schneid. Finally catching some fish. I think the sun's peeking through the clouds, so maybe that's what we needed. But we'll see. A lot of time left. So. What drew me to trout fishing was the, the beauty of the fish and the experience you get out on the water. It's, it's a little bit different than going out on a boat and putting down the anchor and you know throwing out a lure re repetitively in the same spot hoping that you, you get some success. When, when you're out on the, on the river and you're wading and you're hitting different holes, that, that strike of the trout, whether it's 8 inches or 20 inches, is, is just incredible and you never know what's on the end of your line at first and once you get it to hand all the fish are, are so unique and different and they're all beauty and beautiful in their own way um, you know that's really what drew me to trout fishing there, we go. there it is Steve. <laughs> the old brown oh she's off ah, dang it. <laughs> nice cast man you stitch that up oh <laughs> this won't be fishing if everything went right you know this this fish that's surfacing now is looking a little bit better. Man. Your color pattern, I think your that, was a, that was a beautiful match. fish. That was a good one. I don't think she'll hit again. We were finding a few fish here and there, but we were really having to work for them, sometimes going close to an hour between bites. But that's the beauty of fishing a small stream with lots of holes. You never know what's going to be around the next bend. A female there. A little about 10 incher. Maybe. <sighs> tough, tough bite right now. <laughs> Again, hard not to get frustrated, but that's a small victory, so we'll see if we can get into some more fish. Steve, we're okay. right in the outside of the lip here. Yep. So, big, big fish here. Ready? Go ahead, net him. Oh, ready? Take time. Hold up, hold up. Yep. I'll tell you. I'll tell you when. I'll turn that. I'll turn that head back. Got her. Hand over. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> Brute. Deep color buck. Yeah. Nice, That's man. pretty indicative of this body of water. Almost a little. There you go, buddy. Yeah. Probably a. Probably a 23 or so. 22 and a half. 23. Big seven, eight-year-old buck. Definitely a, right, it's on a welcome change of pace there. For <clears throat> what's really interesting is I saw the female follow me back three times. Not what, not the fish I was expecting to hook into there. So nice. that was a, mm -hmm. again, super refreshing. So that last fish was uh, probably about a seven or eight-year-old fish, um, somewhere probably between the 22 and 23 mark. Real healthy, thick-bodied male. Uh, again, uh, kind of like I mentioned earlier, and I'm not sure if we got that on camera, but uh, a lot of those fish in here just hold that deep mustard yellow color uh, all through the year. And the females are um, opposite of that. They're very, very bleached out looking, and so it's just neat to get a, a big buck because you get to experience that color and those neat hues of blue in there. So, Fun fish. Really, really definitely a refreshing moment in the, uh, this challenge. <laughs> so... Matt's love for trout fishing started just after high school and eventually led him to create a nonprofit organization called Michigan Trout Addicts. Took a walk up a stream one day and it happened to be a cold water uh, stream and I uh, was casting spinners and I hooked my first brown trout uh, and eight inch fish and then uh, that kind of started the, the addiction. It's been 13 years now and uh, about five years ago I really wanted to start to kind of uh, file away some of the photos of the fish that I was catching so that I could look back on them. And, and for me, the best way to do that was to kind of remove them from my own personal Facebook page, create my own page, which I titled Michigan Trout Addict uh, at the time. It was singular and um, it was just, again, it was just me and my experiences. And then there were some people that kind of jumped on board and said that they enjoyed the content and the quality of the pictures and the fish that I was catching. They wanted to know a little bit more and so I used that as a teaching place Then also uh, kind of a community gr uh, grew out of that and, and so more and more followers um, started coming to the page and uh, transformed into Michigan Trout Addicts where we now do um, catch and release tournaments and then uh, also some uh, youth seminars for trout fishing. And uh, so yeah, it's, it's just really developed into something neat and, and 
kind of piggybacking all of that is uh, the potential while we were all out here and gathering together uh, for the opportunity to really uh, dive into doing some good for the community. And so we've uh, got a few different charitable causes that we're donating to. And so it's been just kind of a neat transformation. We continued to work our way upstream and eventually Steve hooked into another nice trout. Everything was going according to plan until right at the last second when this trout decided it wasn't ready to be in the net. Just don't let her, don't let her go back down on this one. Yep. Bring her up. Go. 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 Between your legs. Well, it wasn't exactly a textbook net job, but eventually she ended up in the net. Threw a nice cast right up in that little hole and blammo. I thought she was stunned. Sometimes you can hook fish and both trebles can get them in the mouth and they can't swim right. And so she was kind of still and Matt came up and she realized she was still had a chance and then she swam between your legs. I put the rod between your legs as best as I could. And she put up a fight, but we were able to get her in the net, so nice fish. That was nice. That's every bit of every bit of 19 and a half. Looks like, looks like the fish is starting to turn on. I mean, Matt's a nice buck, and then we missed two two other close to 20 probably within the last five, ten minutes. So and then we're right at right Seems at that like 20 we're right mark on that. now. So that's sweet time, so. Nice, beautiful. Actually, she's a little deep color for yeah, this there. water. It's nice to see a real colorful female in here. We have a couple of different tournaments each year. We have the opener and the closer tournaments, and these are catch and release oriented tournaments uh, where teams of either one or two go out and uh, they can hit their favorite body of water. Uh, and they can, they can actually catch all of the fish that they submit for the tournament and release uh, every single one of them if they wish. And, and basically the way that we've set it up uh, is so that we send out uh, standardized bump boards for measurement, um, we send out call cards uh, so that we can ensure that the photos were taken while the tournament uh, is actually underway. And, uh, and so it's, it's just kind of a different setup. It's all uh, run through social media. These tournaments are open to anyone who likes to fish for trout and are a great choice for those who prefer to catch and release. Special thanks to Matt and Steve for letting me tag along on a fun day of chasing brown trout here in mid-Michigan. In this next story, we're going to take a look at a group who gives back to our military families who sacrifice so much for our country. The annual Armed Forces Family Fishing Event was underway here in Wyandotte last month and young Aiden was ready to hop on a boat. I'm going to catch a big fish. Alright, what's your name? Aiden. Aiden? Alright, we're going to see you back here later and you show me your fish, alright? Okay. Good luck. 44 kids were headed out onto the Detroit River today to catch walleye and silver bass and to have a little fun. It, it's the, the kids of uh, deployed military or recently deployed or active duty. Yeah. The tournament is uh, memorializing my friend uh, Major Daniel Jacobs uh, who passed away uh, a few years ago and uh, he always said you know that the families you know had a, the most difficult job you know so the the uh, military personnel they get deployed but the families back here and they need to keep things going you know without their uh, you know mother or father so you know, he believed that, that um, anything you can do to support the families, you know, would, would be uh, huge. So that's why I thought it was a, a great idea, you know, to do something like this. And uh, eventually, you know, we'd like to do maybe more than one event a year. Uh, we're growing every year. You know, this is our third year, but uh, 
we, we would like to do as much as we can to support the uh, kids of the military. Volunteer Linda Bennett took me around to see all 21 of the boats participating today. One of the contributors to helping set up the event today is Lance Valentine. He's a big reason why all of these charter boat captains are here helping out. So, you know, we had 21 boats out today and they were all uh, volunteer members from our Walleye 101, our Teaching Fish and Anglers Club. So, a lot of people put a lot of time in. We had charter cabins that took days off today to take these kids fishing. Uh, we've been part of this for three years. We just love doing it. We're so thankful for Dan and the group for letting us uh, provide the boats. It's just an awesome opportunity and everybody loves to do it. So, uh, thanks to Dan for having the kids and thanks to all the folks from Walleye 101 and Teaching Fishing for coming out and taking the time to take everybody fishing. Some of the groups were focused on chasing those Detroit River walleyes, but a bunch of boats had dialed in on the silver bass along the shore. Dan says it was another event that gave him the idea for the Armed Forces Family Fishing Day. I can't say that I invented the idea because I participated in an event like this in Minnesota. Um, I was a guide at that point, but when, uh, when I moved back to uh, Michigan, I really wanted to do something you know, for the um, uh, kids of deployed uh, military. So that's where um, you know, I took the same concept that we had in uh, Minnesota. Uh, the only difference being that I wanted it uh, you know, out here where we have an abundance of walleye and silver bass, you know, so everybody can catch fish. And speaking of silver bass, Aiden was able to haul in that big fish he was talking about earlier. Those smiles say it all, don't they? And those smiles are what Dan Myers hoped to see when he started this fishing event three years ago. Well, to, today I just, you know, we hope to accomplish that everybody have a safe and successful day on the water. Uh, you know, introduce kids that don't fish a lot, you know, to fishing. That's why we like to give them a, a life jacket. They all get to take a life jacket home and a rod reel combo, you know, so that uh, when they leave here, they can, uh, you know, fish other places. You know, we like to keep them, you know, involved in the outdoors. Boats were heading back in and plenty of fish and fish stories from a successful day on the water were also making their way in. These kids were pretty excited to talk about all the memories made out there today. Well, how'd it go out there? Good. What happened? How many walleyes did catch? Five or six. Six, six walleyes. We lost a few. Yep. A lot of white bass. Uh huh. Nice. Whoa. Where did they put it? Did you have that fun? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. What was your favorite part? The rest of you catching the fish. Catching the walleye because yeah. we didn't get the. You think that one? Ben. Ben? Did you catch some fish? Did you have fun? Yep. What is your favorite part? When we doing fast. Fast? All yeah. right. How about you ladies? Uh, mine was when I caught the biggest fish. You did? Awesome. Yeah. How about you? Um, when Lily got slapped in the face with the fish. Yeah. And we were taking a picture and I got slapped in the face. And getting a bunch of fish because I was on a roll getting a bunch of fish. You were on a roll? Nice. It was awesome. I yeah? Remember. You guys had a good time? I got two of them which were uh, walleye. <laughs> pretty big and then I got some uh, white bass. Nice, good job. I only caught one. But you had fun, right? Yeah, it was again? fun. Yeah. How about you? I uh, had fun a lot. Yeah, did you catch some fish? Uh, one, but it wasn't a keeper. Okay. <laughs> I caught two or three. Yeah, did you have fun? Yeah, the day started off a little slow, but at the end I started, it got a lot better. We caught the three biggest ones probably right what there. Sweet. So, a lot of fun? Yeah. We well, caught probably about 20 to 25 of them. Oh. And these are the three biggest. Cool. So you're hoping you might win a prize for those? All right. Everyone was a winner here today in more ways than one. Prizes were awarded for the heaviest fish in different categories and lots of door prizes were handed out as well. These youngsters may not realize it, but they have made a sacrifice to their country by living apart from their parents while they're deployed. A day of fun fishing seems like a great way to say thanks to the families of our nation's heroes for all they do for us. Thanks to Dan Myers, Lance Valentine, and Libra Marina for helping to make this wonderful event a success here in Michigan's Out of Doors. 
Thanks for joining us this week for Michigan Out of Doors. Make sure you join us in the upcoming weeks. We've got lots more summertime outdoor activities in store for you. We'll be hitting the big water after some of those silver fish, and we'll be doing some more river fishing and hitting the woods as well. If you'd like to see where we are and where we're headed next, you can always do that online. Well, that's right, Jenny. Online, that's always a great way to kind of keep track of us. Of course, our website is michiganoutofdoorstv.com. We have full episodes of the show there every week. We're also on most of the social media sites if you want to check us out there. And if you're ever on YouTube, you can subscribe to our channel and get an email every time we post something new. So lots of good stuff coming over the next several weeks. Make sure you stay tuned. And if we don't see you in the woods or on the water, hopefully we'll see you right back here next week on your PBS station. Michigan Out of Doors is presented by by Greenstone Farm Credit Services, making recreational land ownership possible across Michigan and Northeast Wisconsin. Begin your land financing journey at one of Greenstone's 37 locations or greenstonefcs.com. By EOTech, a Michigan company, equipping law enforcement and sportsmen alike with quality optics, creating jobs for Michigan workers. On the web at eotechgear.com. By Pictured Rocks Boat Cruises of Munising, exploring Lake Superior's Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore. With its sandstone cliffs, caves, waterfalls, and lighthouses, Pictured Rocks Boat Cruises on the web at picturedrocks.com. Closed captioning provided by Randy's Hunting Center, serving Michigan as Ruger and Leupold's National Dealer of the Year, an inventor of Ruger's 450 Bushmaster rifle. When I want to fire away, I am a Michigan man Changing seasons paint the scene Like rainbow trout in a hidden stream The white-tailed deer in the tall pine trees I am a Michigan man I am, I am a Michigan man Ask where I'm from and I'll show you my hands Lord above, I love this land I am a Michigan man Down to St. Joe, Kalamazoo, East to Monroe, to St. Marie and back again. I am a Michigan man. I am, I am a Michigan man. That's where I'm from, and I'll show you my hands. Lord above, I love this land. I